We now have an opportunity to listen to our third back pocket speaker. What other club has three back pocket speeches on one night? And the title of Stefan Villavincencio's speech is Planning My Upcoming Vacation. Planning My Upcoming Vacation, Stefan Villavincencio. All yours. Make sure you unmute. Right. Oh, thank you. All right. I got my finger to press the mutant button once instead of twice. And I have to practice that a little bit. I want to talk to you about planning my vacation. I am going on vacation on July 3rd through July 10th. And I thought to myself, I'm going to meet my parents in, they live in Myrtle Beach, but to fly over there, I have to pass through Charlotte Airport. So I thought, why don't I just meet them in Charlotte? I've done it before. It makes sense. It shouldn't be too expensive. So I go ahead and make a plan to go there and to go to DC because I have friends and cousins in DC. I haven't seen them in three years and I really wanted to see them. One of my friends said, yes, I will let you stay at my place. I want to go to a concert. So find a concert and we can go together. So that's what I did. Look for a concert and sure enough, there was a concert on July 10th that looked perfect. So I bought the ticket for both of us and I talked to a friend and he said, I haven't been back. He, he lives in Hong Kong and he says, I haven't back, been back to the States in eight years and I'll be there in June until July 9th. So I thought, oh, okay, maybe I can catch him between the 7th and the 8th and he'll be in the DC area, hopefully. So that was my plan, see my friend who's coming in from Hong Kong and see another friend who, to do the music show. And then that would all be in DC and then also see my parents, meet them in Charlotte. So I bought the tickets. It would cost about $650 for the flights and I thought everything was great until I talked to my mom, all excited about meeting her in Charlotte. And what happened? She said, well, Stefan, your dad isn't a good driver. He scares me. I don't know if we're going to have a good time if we go to Charlotte. And I said, you know what, mom? Yeah, you're right. Dad's not the best driver anymore. Oh, man, what am I going to do? Am I going to have to cancel some of my trip? The more I thought about it, I was cool, just like John Morse. I thought, yeah, I can handle this. It was Tuesday, and I know that airlines have good flight plans. So I thought, maybe I'll just buy two more plane tickets and just make sure that I go from Charlotte to Myrtle Beach and then leave Myrtle Beach through Charlotte again and then get to DC. But then I realized thinking back to some of the past experiences with airports, I realized hmm, you might get in trouble if you don't if you buy those separate plane tickets because you might think your baggage is going to your final destination when they're really at the uh, they get stuck at the uh, term at the uh, at the pit stop airport, and that would be really bad. So I thought, okay, well, let me go to the airline website and try to see what I can do about changing my plan. So I went on the website and I was able to change the plans, and lo and behold, I was able to buy tickets for the same exact price and adding two new flights, but not paying a penny more. Fellow Toastmasters and honor guests, what, what is the 
point of all my rambling. The point is, even when you think you're screwed, you really aren't. Sometimes you just got to stay cool, cool like a John Morse and just figure things out and maybe they're not the problem is not as bad as you thought it was. Okay, we're going to continue with the round robin evaluation technique on Stefan Villavicencio. And I'll ask for people who want to speak about how Stefan's speech impacted them. Any comments about that? Jim Sims. You notice a smooth transition from Toastmaster to general evaluator? Oh, it's priceless, this, this club. One thing that I would share with Stefan right from the start, we sometimes do ramble. We never tell our audience we're rambling. What you might want to do is the purpose of my story tonight, or the reason why I share these ruminations with you, although that may be another phrase for rambling, you want to make sure that you don't want to denigrate your own performance. All three speeches were, in a sense, rambling because they weren't totally prepared. But we don't want to use that phraseology, I would suggest. I also thought you perhaps could have been a little too close to your camera, which we have to work out in Zoom meetings. I liked that you were conversational. I liked your pace. You're, you seem a lot slower than when you first started. You used your mother's voice. I'm not sure that she would think you did a great job, but you used your mother's voice. And uh, you also told us a story about your friends. One suggestion I have is to color your story a little bit more. Give us the names of your friends, your friend from Hong Kong and your other friend, Billy Smith or Joe Blah, you know, whoever it is. It just gives us a little bit more information, colors the story. Oh, I don't know. You know, it's you can't, you can't. all right. Other observations? You have something done? Stefan, you followed my lead by not doing any gestures. Now, I don't know if you were doing them, but you were kind of cut off at here so we couldn't see anything. That's just a problem with Zoom. As you can see, I'm now doing it much more. <laughs> I only have to be told once. But I thought you did a very good job. You were a little short. Maybe you could loan some time to John and the two of you could compete for favorite um, speaker tonight. I thought you did a good job. I didn't hear a lot of ums and ums. Sometimes you you tend to use those words, uh, filler words. But tonight, I thought you did a very good job. It shows that you're getting better and better at um, at this whole shtick, so to speak, which I guess Jim would tell me I can't call it shtick. I have to call it a speech. But in any event, I thought you did a very good job, especially considering it, it was a back pocket speech. So thank you and welcome back. Yes, welcome back. Very good. Very good. Very thank good. You, any you. other comments? Sure, do you have anything you'd like to add? No. Okay. Stefan, I I have to compliment you because I think you stood up and you gave a coherent speech. Sometimes your speeches aren't nearly as coherent as this one was. I followed it from beginning to end. I like the idea that you presented a plan and how it all unfolded and then how you were able to put it back together again and you had a bit of a conclusion saying even the best laid plans go afoul and you can deal with those and survive good job good job stefan i wish you'd stood up that's my only comment i wish you'd stood up i think in zoom world when you stand up you have that opportunity to use the gestures become more lively and it helps.
not everybody agrees with me on that, I'm sure. I just feel like standing is what you ought to be doing. 